Hi guys, today I am going to be sharing with you my way of cleaning my makeup brushes. I know a lot of people don't like cleaning makeup brushes but I am sort of a weirdo in this case because I actually really really enjoy cleaning my makeup brushes when that dirt and grime just leaves the brush I feel so <sighs> yes my brushes are clean so I feel that way so if you are like me let me know down below I am like kind of that weird person yes I am so I am uh, showing you my way of cleaning makeup brushes you have to clean your makeup brushes at least once a week or once in 10 days because otherwise the product gets built up in your brushes and they may cause breakout all over your face so that's why it's really essential to clean your makeup brushes the way that I use is very simple and all the products are easily available in your kitchen in your household it's with so it's something that I have learnt over the past couple of weeks, uh, months I would say, to uh, clean my makeup brushes. So if you want to know how I clean my makeup brushes, Starting off, I'm just showing the before shot to show you how much my brush is dirty. Just so you guys get a reference or a comparison between clean brushes and dirty brushes. The things that you're going to need are coconut oil, I'm using the Patanjali one, uh, Wim detergent, this is a dishwashing soap, a Johnson's baby shampoo as well as conditioner, any conditioner, hair conditioner will work. First off, I'm making a concoction, I'm using um, coconut oil, this is very helpful in breaking down the makeup. Next I'm also going to be adding in my detergent as well as baby shampoo, what this will do is it will actually clean your brushes you need to make sure that the amount of coconut oil is uh, coconut oil to the Johnson's baby and Wim detergent mix is like one is to three or something and then I just added in a little bit of conditioner I'm also going to be using pumice stone because it has a little bit of jagged edges on top if you can see here so that it will be very helpful in cleaning your brushes deep cleaning your brushes first I'm washing my brush with regular tap water and then dipping uh, into the concoction mix and swirling it over the pumice stone. This uh, will ensure that every single ounce of makeup in your brushes totally comes down. And that's how I clean all my brushes for the most part. You can see how clean it is right now. Make sure that you are gentle with it because Dream Stone is really hard and you don't want to damage your brushes. So in this video, I did not show all of my brush cleaning. I just, um, you know, showed the major ones like flat top kabuki brush, my blending brush, pencil brush, uh, shader brush and also a big fluffy brush. So that you can see that the same method works pretty much. Um, it is consistent all across the table. You can see the amount of dirt that's coming out of the brush right now. And this is a flat shader brush with black eyeshadow on it. This will give you a real picture of how dirty my brushes were. Just for the sake of this video, I hadn't washed my brushes in over 3 weeks just for the sake of this video so that I can show you how dirty brushes can be cleaned really easily. So if your pumice stone gets uh, dirty or soapy, you can just wash it, you know, really simply under water and reuse the whole process. The best thing about using a pumice stone is that it lasts forever you don't have to repurchase it and it's really really cheap as well so once I uh, do this process wherein I use the soap and uh, swirl it over the brush I do not wash it immediately I let it sit so when I start the first brush and go all the way until my last brush my first brush has sat for a good 10 to 15 minutes and then I rinse it Next for the beauty blender, blender <laughs> you can speak properly, I am dipping the whole beauty blender into the soap concoction and running it under the water until the water that I squeeze out is completely clean. You may have to do this like twice or thrice, it will not come off in one go especially if you have it gunked up for 3 weeks like I have. 
for the beauty blender i don't let it rest in the soap concoction for a long time i just do it immediately you can see now that the water is getting clearer and clearer and that is how i clean my beauty blender it can be for any type of makeup sponge this will apply for it and now i just wash it simple neat and easy and now you can see how soft and fluffy and clean my beauty blender is thumbs up next up i'm washing all of my soapy concoction mixed clean brushes with a uh, tap and i'm just cleaning it with uh, on my palm like you can see here this looks like a long process but it's not actually a long process So after washing all of my brushes there's still one tiny little step that I do I just um you know squeeze the excess water in it after running it under the water and shape the brush the way it should be and then I'm just wiping it over a clean towel to remove any um soap or water you can even do this over a tissue you just going to swirl it like you did with the pumice stone Now you can see the before and after shot. You can see how dirty it was to how clean it is right now. Now for the very last part, I always, always, always sun dry my brushes for a good six to eight hours. I keep it under direct sunlight and I keep it in the direction that is shown. And for the beauty blender, I keep it inside a huge box like shown uh, under the sun again, so that it is completely dry and it doesn't get dirty. So that's how I clean my makeup brushes. So you guys saw the video and you saw how easy it was and that is how I clean my makeup brushes and if you follow me on Snapchat I probably put up a snap every week saying my brushes are squeaky clean because I clean my brushes every week so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know any different tips or tricks or what you use for your makeup brushes uh, to clean your makeup brushes and um yeah we can probably help each other out I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below because that is for you guys and i shall see you in my next one till then bye